Hello, I'm here today with the head coach of Stanislaus State's women's basketball team, Wayman Strickland. Um, I'm Danny Barnes with the CCA, and we're just going to catch up with Coach um, as his team continues their CCA schedule. Right now, they are three and three on the season, and they're zero and one in the CCA conference play. But Coach, I just want to hear a little bit as this is a unique time um, with this interview. You guys are a little ways into the season right now, but we just want to learn about your team before you start into conference play. Could you just tell me a little bit about maybe what you've learned about your team that surprised you this year to this point? Um, well, we're we're a particularly young team, so I'm um, I'm very surprised um, with their resilience and and grit. Um, We've got seven freshmen, four sophomores, uh, two juniors, one senior. So, so that's a really, really young team, um, especially for this league. CCA is a very, very uh, well accomplished league. We generally send, you know, two teams to the uh, West Regions in the NSA. Uh, on good years, we'll send three, and you know, you just don't win in uh, college athletics with underclassmen uh, as your primary, you know, go-to players or, or the meat of your team. So I, I'm really encouraged by their um, willingness to learn. Uh, they're being very open-minded. They're working really, really hard. And, and the hardest thing that, that's going to be the challenge for us is we're going to be facing a lot of well-coached teams. This is a great conference, very well-coached um, basketball programs. So we're going to run into some um, teams that are a lot more experienced than us. So there, there are some things you just can't get done without experience. You know, so that, that's going to be our biggest challenge. But I, I've just loved uh, our enthusiasm, our, our players' willingness to uh, bond together and, and learn and play hard. So that's been surprising how how hard they've been working and how well everybody's just bought into, you know, uh, playing hard. It's turning into a skill. Fantastic. And as you mentioned right there, sometimes you can teach, you can coach all you want, but you can't really get that experience until you go through it on that one. Um, your team was in it until the last weekend last year for a playoff spot for the CCA tournament. What do you feel that you your team learned down the stretch last year that they're able to apply this year to hopefully get a little bit of that maturity a little quicker? Well, they, they learned the value of how important poise is. You know, there, there's a fine line to be to playing really, really hard. And, you know, you cross the line, then you're playing kind of out of control. You know, there's a fine line to playing with uh, physicality and – you know, you cross the line, you're you're not playing, um, you're playing again a little bit out of control. So uh the experience last year for our for our returning players was uh, uh an unfortunate teachable moment. I think they felt the pain of you know coming up short, um, and what it felt like to have a, a couple opportunities and to to do something and, and not get it done. You know, and, and having to regroup and live with that regret, I think, has fueled some of uh, their work ethic in the preseason and in conditioning and how they're uh, really openly having good conversations with our incoming freshmen, because we do have a big group of incoming freshmen. Fantastic. You you talk about that inexperience. Um, I'm sure there can be detriments on it as you talk about that way too, but maybe some, what are some of the strengths you see from your team this year, whether it's kind of those intangibles or even just something on the court, what would you think would be just some of the strengths if an opposing coach was scouting you or something like that? What would you think would be the way that they would identify the strengths of your team? Uh, we play tremendously hard. Um, uh, we're committed to playing nine, 10, 11 players. Um, we try to really play together. There's no guessing like who is going to, uh, we, we've got some good players. Everybody's filling their roles, but everybody is prepared and, and locked in. So you're going to, you're going to have to work. 
if you're going to beat us, you're you're going to have to work. We're not just going to uh, you're going to have to work on the boards because we get after it. You're going to have to run the court because we're going to press and get after you. So, you know, and, and I think we play an exciting brand of basketball. And if, you know, if you haven't prepared to to get after it and have multiple people dribble the ball and take shots, you're you're going to struggle. Well, let's talk a little bit about that offense, a little bit about their defense. I look through the stats right now and I see you guys are averaging almost 10 and a half steals per game. What do you think is helping lead to that um, that great number out there for you right now, Coach? What are you guys doing defensively to create those turnovers? I think we're a long athletic team and, and getting out, pushing the pace, forcing you to have uh, multiple ball handlers kind of leads to those those turnovers. Um, we We just work hard, and I think we have fairly decent anticipation right now. Um, uh, it's going to improve uh, by leaps and bounds here as the season goes again, because we're, we're a very young team, but we're, we're tenacious and we're long and we're athletic. Fantastic. Tell me about that scoring out there right now. You guys have four of your five starters are averaging over eight points a game. Um, I'm sure that's an important one for you to just have that balanced scoring out there, but talk to me the way that it seems like anybody any day can kind of be your leading scorer out there. Well, and, and I think it, it bodes well to uh, team chemistry and, you know, wanting to, you know, having everybody focus on, on, on player development. Um, all, all summer, all offseason kids are, are working on their individual skills and, and then you bring them together and you ask people to uh, sacrifice for the good of the team. You know, we just really focus on having everybody making good decisions, uh, taking great shots, not okay shots, not the skill shots that they worked on all summer. We want to work to get wide open shots and have the right player taking the right shot at the right time. So if you do that as a team, if you do that as an individual player, you make the game easier for your teammates. Therefore, it's easier for everybody to score a few points um, and, and everybody feels more engaged there and it, and it feeds into our defense. If you take great shots, you're going to make a higher percentage and it'll allow you to play a little better defense and pick people up full court, which will also allow you to play more people. Good. Good. So we know you guys started to practice probably conditioning and everything back in September your team came together right around October 15th to do that one. But what is something that surprised you about your team that you've been able to learn about your team as a coach through these first six games of the season? Um, we've got a, we've got a, quite a few people that are, are pretty good individual shooters when they, when they take the, what's considered a great shot for, for their skill set, And, uh, I really have been excited about some of the ball handling from our bigs. Um, I've been excited about uh, how competitive some of our practices have been. And I, I've really just been happy with the, the buy-in and the camaraderie between uh, our, our players. You know, because you you get a you've got a certain group of returners, or we have four returners that um, were forced to play a, a lot of minutes last year in, in our sophomore group, um, and then we've got a huge group of seven um, freshmen. So, you know, everybody's been on that team or or been in that group situation where you end up with uh, cliques of players, and it ends up with you know kind of fractioned and some uncomfortable kind of spaces, but I've really been excited about how all our young women in the program have really bonded together. It's one big cohesive group. We're having a great communication between the coaching staff and, and the players, the players back to the coaching staff, lots of open 
communication in both directions. And we're all able to kind of sit around, um, enjoy each other's company on the bus, on road trips, uh, before and after practices, you know, taking walks and things, um, just really working to get to know each other and, and building a great trust factor and having great relationships. You know, I, I've told our team, uh, my hope for them is that they build some great trusting relationships so that they look back upon each little individual journey of a season as a great journey. They become a little more complete person, not just player, but a better person and, and deepen the relationships with, with their teammates and continue to grow. We're really just trying to have a a really all around growth mindset with everyone in the program, including me. And I'm the old man of the group. Well, that's fantastic, coach. You kind of touched on that a little bit right there of just some of the growth and some of the stages of accomplishment. But what, I guess, if I just, this is the final question, but if you're willing to share, what are some of the goals or what do you guys hope to accomplish this year during the CCA season? Well, uh... You don't, we're really focused on having a growth mindset. You know, everybody wants to win. You know, everybody wants to win. Um, We're not setting winning as our goal. We want to maximize each individual player's ability um, and have them grow as a person, athlete, teammate, and, and young woman and for for that to happen we all have to focus on being our best selves each day you know the the winning and losing is going to be a product of all the little things so we're not trying to set a, a goal out there of you know we want to win the conference. We want to win 20 games. We want to be good. Don't get me wrong. We want to win. But but our focus is kind of like handling the, the business of winning is all the little things. So we're focusing on all the little things that we can control. And take, for instance, uh, our game this weekend with, with Chico. Um, we played well in spurts. Uh, and we had some unfortunate teachable moments where, you know, we've got to show a little bit more poise. We, we've got to show a, a little bit um, better ability to adjust quicker. So those things just come with experience. And we don't want to have our ebbs and flows, our energy, our attitude or effort to be affected by um, attaining a specific goal or like winning, beating Chico on the road uh, and have that affect us adversely and, and growing or overlooking some of the little things that, that are, that are important and being better student athletes, people and basketball players. Fantastic coach. Thank you so much. Just thank you for giving us a little insight into your team and um, good to hear before you guys start the rest of your CCA season. Um, obviously we don't look ahead to anything, but this week you guys will be hosting Cal State San Marcos and Cal State LA. So good luck this coming weekend and good luck with the rest of your CCA schedule. Thank you. Thank you. You have a great day. I appreciate the the opportunity to speak to you about our program and the young women that represent Stanislaus.